Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a haul video and quite honestly, it's a pretty big one. Um, again, because of the fact of the matter that, and I know I keep saying this, but I had LASIK. So I was wearing glasses for two weeks and then I couldn't wear makeup for a week. So I kind of had a lot of videos pre-taped going up but I haven't taped a lot of videos since that, so I've had stuff accumulating, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. First thing is, is over the holidays, over Christmas, I ordered something, of course I was sitting at home, I saw this on TV, I was intrigued, I ordered it, and I made a huge mistake. Uh, well, first of all, let me start with, it took forever to get to me. Like, it got to me in February, and I ordered it at the end of December, so almost a month. And what it is, this is so funny, is it something, this is the funniest story ever, called Hot Buns. I have one of those a sock that's cut off and I've used that and I've used one of the ones that you can buy at like Sally Beauty Supply and they all work fine but I've just never fallen in love with them and of course I got sucked in by the infomercial and it was like 10 bucks I think for two there were two in there there's a small one and a large one and you got to choose the color so um, I decided to get it this is what it looks like and by far it is the easiest easiest, easiest way to do a bun. Um, has the elastic already in it, everything. This is the bigger one. Let's pull the smaller one. And here's a smaller one. Um, but by far the quickest way to make a bun at all, ever. Like it is just, it has like um, the thing that Velcro rollers are made of on it and your hair sticks into it well and it's just awesome, 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 awesome. But of course I got sucked into the like, you buy one, you get one free, then you know, this, that, and the other, which ended up being way more expensive than it needed to be. It was absolutely ridiculous um, and silly, but now I'm kind of glad I did it because um, I absolutely loved it. So then um, I also received a package from Sigma and they have the prettiest packaging when they send you something. It's a box with this um, around it, I'll show you it one minute. And um, they have launched their eyeshadows um, and their brow products as individuals. If you guys remember me talking about um, the brow palette, I really liked this and I liked the products, but I hated that it was in this big case. Um, so that being said, I guess they listened to multiple people uh, that had said that. They sent me their highlighting pencil, their brow pencil, their brow gel, and their brow, oops, brow powder. What color did they send me? Medium. So um, I think I might have been auburn, but whatever. We'll try it out and see how it goes. Um, and let's see here. The They launched January 21st, so they're already out there. The brow powder duo is 14. You know what? I'll put prices and everything on my blog. Um, then they also sent me some of their eyeshadows and they sent me just because this is so so long of a video because of all the stuff i have but look at all the colors like what a great idea so hopefully the pigmentation is great and you know what i've seen a lot of people doing this thing now called first impression videos maybe i'll do a first impression video of things like this um so they sent me publicize Can't read this one. I'm still getting used to seeing where things are, but I will say, oh, there it is, Versalis. It's because they're on a light colored sticker. Like, see how hard that is to read? Um, whereas things like this, I can read very easily. Triumphy, like, see, you can read that way easier. Um, looks like I must have black, it's a gray. Um, Snoop. Color Snoop. It's a gray, another gray. And Reveal, which is like a reddish pink. So um, let me know if you guys are interested in something like a, a first impressions video of stuff like that. Um, I also had placed an order at Origins um, online. I needed a couple things. Um, I got a, another one of my Origins plant scriptions. Um, throwing the boxes away because I'm already using these. The Origin Starting Over Age Erasing Eye Cream with Mimosa. I love this day cream. People suggested the eye cream to me. Um, and I try, I'm trying this, the D Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Soothing Treatment. Give that a shot, see how that goes. 
Um, and then they sent me two samples. One is Brighter by Nature Skin Tone Correcting Moisturizer, which I'm already using, and a Perfect World um, Antioxidant Moisturizer with white tea. So I'll give those a shot as well. Um, went into CVS. We'll start with CVS. Um, picked up a couple things. Sorry, I hate their bags. Um, I got one of those L'Oreal uh, Infallible Midnight Blue um, Eyeshadows. And it's one of those like powdered ones. Like what a pretty dark blue. Which how often do I use dark blue? But I use it as a liner a lot. So maybe I'll use it for that. We'll see. Sorry, just checking on the little man. Oops. He's been sick. So he's sleeping. He had a bath this morning. He's sleeping. Um, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Everyone told me if I liked that, uh, my lash exact, that I would like that. Um, and I'm trying to get back to what I call my roots of doing reviews on more drugstore products. So I've been trying to pick up things and I asked one day um, and I got a whole bunch of stuff um, so that I can do drugstore reviews more often because I kind of got away from that. Um, Revlon Age Defying with DNA Advanced uh, Concealer. Uh, Biore Deep Cleaning Pore Strips. I don't think anyone asked for that. I just picked it up. Maybelline Lash Discovery. I used to love this mascara. Revlon Photo Ready Sculpting Blush Palette. Um, some of these are things that people asked about. Uh, this is a CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liner in the color Seduce. I think I saw that in the magazine. Um, I picked this up because I love their spray. Uh, Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Smooth Perfect Legs in an Instant in Medium Leg Makeup. I have the spray ones. This is in a tube. That will be interesting to see. The L'Oreal Paris Color Riche uh, Cup of Joe 839. Um, a Revlon, what are these called? Color Stay Ultimate Suede Lipstick. What color? 25. I don't see a name anywhere. Let me know if you guys know where our name is. L'Oreal, what are these things called? Color, Color Riche, I don't know, Rose Taffeta 174. These are liquid ones that are supposed to be like the YSL. Um, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation 3-in-1, number 842, medium beige. Um, the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer um, in Fair. I used to have the brightener, but people wanted to know about the actual concealer. Oops. Um, Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. Where's the color? Oh, there it is. Uh, 160 Fresh Beige. Um, another one of those L'Oreal Color Riche. Um, it just, I don't know, I couldn't decide on the color. And then a L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. Let's see if it's a dupe for any of those higher end ones. Um, placed an order at Sephora. Got a Laura Mercier Lip Pencil in the color Potpourri. Um, this is what it looks like. Really pretty. I'm going to try to start doing swatches on my blog. I don't know how well that's going to work out, but we'll see. I did pick up a Dior lip pencil in the color Caramel. Um, I picked up another, oh no, I picked up the Undercover Pot of Laura Mercier. Um, this one has, I don't even remember, let's see. Oh, this one has two colors of concealer and a setting powder underneath of it. Um, because the double one that you guys saw me with before um, is not for under eye. That one is. Picked up a Tarte blush. I heard someone talking about this. I don't remember who it was. The color Tipsy. Don't know if this is a must-have. You guys tell me. I haven't used it yet. I just haven't been interested. I don't know. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Have this on today. It's pretty. Um, got a Too Faced sample thing. It's called Kiss Kiss VIB. A lip indulgence and a lipstick. Sorry, I'm trying to use. Um, placed an order online and got the Rachel K CC Cream Blemish Balm. I got this in neutral, I think. Let me see if I can 
put it in the box. I don't know where the box is. I don't know where it says the color on it either because it's mostly not in English. So I'm giving this a try. Um, I had some headbands sent to me. This is pretty cool um, because from a company called Hipsy Headbands, non-slip and adjustable. And let me show you, here's one that I've already worn. It's pretty cool because once you put it on, it also has an adjuster. Let me see, there you go. So you can adjust it. You know how, see like putting it over your head, that was like super tight, but see how I just loosened it? Then you can put it on and then you can tighten it just down at the base. So they're pretty cool. I got this silver one. I got a really cool plum rhinestone one, a nice um, silver beaded one, a black one, and then a silver and black beaded one. So I'm excited about those. Let me know if you want more information. Um, then Origins had contacted me because they saw my Origins review from a while ago and asked if they could send me one of their newest products. Um, and I was like, of course, I love their stuff and I'm always trying new ones of their stuff. And it is the Origins Plant Scription SPF 25 Anti-Aging Oil-Free Cream. Ooh, I just realized it's oil-free. Yay. So I'm excited to try that. And then she also said, sent me a very nice note, handwritten note from them saying um, that they also included some of my other favorites in there, which is so nice of them. So they sent me a checks and balances, the Brighter by Nature High Potency Brightening Peel Pads, the Mega Bright Skin Toning Serum, the Starting Over Oil Free Moisturizer, uh, the Nitamins, and then also the Plantscription Anti-Aging Eye Cream. Now, I usually use the eye treatment, but I'm really, really excited to try the eye cream and see what the differences are. Um, so excited about that. And then the last thing I got was also from Sigma, and they just launched this. And this is their, I think, what are they calling them? Hold on a sec. Eyeshadow bases. I was calling them cream colored bases. Eyeshadow bases. Now, here's what's interesting. Let me see if it tells me. I wonder if they're just sold in sets or singles. I think they're both. I think they're sold both ways because let me show you what they did. Well, first of all, here's what they look like um, color wise. They sent me a set one. So, this is an eyeshadow base kit in Dare. And it comes with a brush and then three colors. Um, and Dare has Dash, which is a matte, a matte plum. That's that one. And then it has Strike, which is a shimmery burgundy. And then Unveil, which is a shimmery gold. And now I'm gonna open one of these and just show you. They have a like extra seal thing. Seems kind of small. Well, I'm not gonna do first impressions because I will do, very creamy. Um, but I will tell you, and then they sent me the singles of the other two sets, and there's three sets in total. And I will tell you, the one I was most interested in is the Spy. See how it's like two-tone? I'm pretty um, excited about that. Let me see if this, oh, here we go, it has prices on this. So it's $13 for a single and $36 for the set. So um, I did receive all, what is it, three, six, nine colors. Um, in here, I'll show you. Um, their packaging is always so nice. But let me know again if you guys are interested in the first impression video because um, I haven't really had a chance to play with any of this. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that. Um, just when I get big packages like that, like a new launch, like a truly new launch, if you'd like to know first impressions. So hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.